Hey, what's up, man? I got your knife in a little while ago. And, uh, I'll explain a few things before I show you what I did. Uh, people make knives a lot of times, they don't consider how it's going to go into the sheath and, uh, how it's going to hold. They just make a design that they like, and when you try to make a sheath for it, it won't. There's no contact points, so there's nothing to hold on to. Um, I'm going to use a few knives as examples, uh, show you a few things. Say I made this, I made this, like, neck knife, and, uh, when it was going in the sheath, I wanted to be able to hold it here and here when I pulled it out. I didn't want to, like, have to, like, grab the end and yank it and then reposition my hand and whatever. So, uh, the only way to do that was I had to put a nub at the top corner so that when it goes in the sheath, there's a edge here to grab onto when it's in the sheath. That way I can hold it like that and I can yank it out and I'm ready to go already. Um, I took that same design and went over this little keychain knife and put the little nub on the corner. That way, uh, when it goes in the sheath, you're able to still grab it when you yank it out. Um, those little Karadashi knives that I had made uh, obviously have the lock on it, which uh, works awesome. Uh, I've been making a lot of my knives with the idea of incorporating that in it. Whatever design I make, I change my design to incorporate the idea to be able to do that because it just works so fucking efficiently. On a normal knife, uh, a lot of times what you would do is you would you would just try to find the contact, the uh, grab point. Like this one has this back edge, so when it's in the sheath, you'd want this to be your grab point, so it'd be able to lock it into the sheath. And then you would bend the corners down to be able to lock it in. Uh, these were some random scalpels I had made, uh, which I'm actually in the process of making a ton more. Uh, the problem I had with this knife is the way the sh the blade shape is, there's no way to efficiently put it in because there it's too wide on the end and too tight at the bottom. So when it when you make Kydex sheath, it's going to be real short here. So when you're going to put it in, it won't clear this gap. So the only way to do that was to make a cutout so that it goes in and then clicks down. And then it has a uh, grab point here. There's really no other way to do it other than changing the design, and, you know, I don't want to change the design. I like the way it is. Uh, so for this knife, when I first saw it, it was hard to, like, decipher what I was going to do with it because the only way to grab is you either grab here or you grab here, and you because you want it to face like this, you don't want it to face, like, sideways when you put it in the sheath. So I had to, uh, when I made a sheath, I... Uh, I, when it was hot, I stretched it a little so that it had it could grab onto this corner so that I could grip on this corner and grip on this corner so it would stand vertically like that. It's still not the tightest lock I'd ever want it to be, but it, it ain't gonna leave anywhere. And uh, it, it holds in nice and it's gonna sit vertically when it's on your neck. Um, one thing though, when you put it in, try to put it in with this back edge here on this side like put it in straight that way it just goes in because if you try to rotate it in you're gonna take the actual edge of the knife here and you're gonna cut into the sheath like that you're just gonna like hack into the sheath repeatedly as you do it um, it's pretty much the only way I can think of making a sheath for this knife other than maybe cut, cutting a notch up here top and then doing the same o-ring things I do with my knives and that would ensure lock up or whatever but um as of right now, it's it's pretty much fine. Uh, it could be used the way it is. So, uh, yeah, Dunzo. Uh, we'll be back in the mail. Um, I guess I could pack it up, package it up tonight and maybe get in the mail tomorrow, if not Monday morning. Uh, i got to work all day tomorrow, so I don't know if I'm able to make the post office. But, uh, all right, enjoy it, man.